Well, let's uh, just very briefly, uh, some wholesale changes, um, rotational policy essentially, or is it just uh, nice to know that so many um, players are returning to fitness again? Yeah, there's a few rotational p p changes, and then obviously there's one or two guys coming back from the injury. They want to give a start. I mean, like, like, I like Adrian Strauss who play from the bench. Uh, it's time we get him back into the fold. And then uh, a guy like Anna Skirst, and he played Curry Cup last weekend, and uh, we need him to come back and play a bit of you know, super rugby. He was one of our top players last year. And obviously Jan Sarandain also returning. And then more and Lisa and Pierre, that's rotational policy. And uh, yeah, and our Warwick Flood obviously moving into 15 position. Bit of a headache last week for the cheaters that the Sunwolves provided. So uh, obviously there's no there's no question of underestimating this team, uh, even with a home ground advantage now. Yeah, no, obviously I mean, we didn't have a great start of the season, so we will focus more on our things and get it right for this weekend. Uh, we know we need to win this weekend, and we don't underestimate any op uh, opponent, in the, especially the Sunwolves. They were very good on the weekend, and maybe unlucky to get a yellow card and lose in the end. But uh, we know what we need to do this weekend. It's one home game scattered amongst uh, an away tour that lies ahead, but uh, obviously, um, with no disrespect to the Sunwolves, but the expectations will be high to win and win well. The expectation of the Bulls side is always to win, and, it, and our fans especially want us to win well. So for us this weekend, it's just you know putting certain things in place, and for us, it's just basically getting the win this weekend. Being back at Loftus, uh, albeit uh, just for one week, I mean that's always a motivational factor. Yeah, I know, especially if you play two games away, you know, having one at home, it's nice, and then you know travel again, three away, and then home again. But after two away games, you know, it's good to be at home. And just in terms of uh, looking back at your cheaters, the Cheetahs game and the, uh, the Stormers game, um, there, there was a lot of work to be done, but a bye week uh, probably gave you a bit of a beneficial period just in terms of revitalization and refreshing for what's lying ahead. Yeah, obviously we had the same bias last year, just two games and then a bye again. Uh, I think it helped us to put certain things in place and also a lot of the injured guys are training. And that gives you an extra week of preparation. So, yeah, no, it's, uh, it was good for us. And uh, just finally, um, looking at the motivation factor, um, not a great start, but uh, you've got a chance now to redeem yourselves uh, from this week. Yeah, obviously motivation factor, I mean, it, it's no need to motivate a side that's lost two in a row. The guys are ready and are back at home and they uh, you know, want to prove something the weekend and uh, we're looking forward to it.